The essential idea, dear students, is that entrepreneurs play the leading role in a market economy, as you know. These are men and women who tirelessly try to anticipate events. To discover what types of goods and services consumers will desire tomorrow, in terms of characteristics, quality and price. In other words, there is an army of human beings devoted on our behalf to finding out what we will want in the future. And not only what we will want and be willing to buy and at what price, but also what people who may not even have been born yet will be willing to buy, in the case of very long-term investment decisions. And do we say, attempt to discover, as if we were talking about a crystal ball, and the data of the future were already there, and the future was simply still to come? No, we know that the future is not to come. It is to be made. We are not talking merely of discovering, but of creating. We must put our entire selves into action to try to create products, goods and services which we cannot even imagine today, and which we believe will be of enormous value to consumers. Therefore, entrepreneurs act as our mandatories, if you will. They are the professionals we entrust with our future. They devote themselves to thinking about and creating what we will truly desire tomorrow. And they work in an environment of uncertainty, which means they take a gamble. They try to come up with those goods and services. And to the extent that they believe there will be a demand for them, they incur costs today. In other words, they acquire factors of production for which they pay certain monetary prices. It is in this sense, and only in this sense, that we say that costs tend to follow prices, and not the other way around. Tomorrow, and not necessarily tomorrow, perhaps in a week, a month, a year, or ten years, consumers will value the goods and services which are being conceived today in an environment of uncertainty. And through the valuations of the marginal pairs, they will determine the market prices. Today, what entrepreneurs do is attempt to discover what those market prices will be, what level they will reach. And in an environment of uncertainty, entrepreneurs acquire factors of production to launch the production processes, which will mature into those goods we will eventually wish to buy. Hence, that is the process, or the law or the genetic causal relationship between the phenomena. And you may say, but that is very difficult. And the answer is, yes, it is very difficult. But that is how the world works. Those entrepreneurs who get it right make a profit. They get it right in the sense that they manage to anticipate events and find out what goods and services are going to best satisfy the needs of consumers in the future. They buy low today, they sell high tomorrow, and they make a profit. In contrast, others get it wrong, and they sustain losses. This is a process of constant rivalry in which there are no acquired rights. Having been successful in the past does not guarantee one's success in the future. The entrepreneur must put his or her entrepreneurial alertness to the test daily for the benefit of consumers. Who are the beneficiaries of this whole process? Citizens, consumers, all of us. We continually see that the market, through this spontaneous order, provides an ever-increasing flow of goods and services of higher and higher quality at more and more competitive prices. And, ultimately, that makes possible an improvement in everyone's standard of living. Not only in quantitative terms, but also in qualitative terms. What is more, an ever-increasing number of human beings can be sustained by this process and with an ever-increasing quality of life. The textbook talks about appraisement. It is the process by which entrepreneurs foresee the market price of the good which we will be willing to purchase at some point in the future. In conclusion, note the chain of events. We begin in the future. 
I do not like to use mathematical representations involving variables and subscripts. The valuations at moment t plus 1, which has not yet taken place, will determine a price by the process of two-sided competition. We have already looked at the mechanism by which that price is determined, the valuations of the marginal pairs, a market price. And what do entrepreneurs do today? They try to find out what that price will be. And, depending on that, they acquire factors of production today. In other words, they incur costs, which are the monetary prices paid for those factors in order to produce the good, which will be sold tomorrow. Prices determine costs, and not the other way around.